been great to welcome Tidal Transit here today as the first expert end user of the simulator. It's been the first real test and uh, it's all been done as part of a clean maritime demonstration competition we're working on together to develop the world's first zero emissions crew transfer vessel. We see some of the vessels within our fleet as ideal candidates for retrofitting pure electric solutions. What's really exciting to us about Artemis's e-foiling solution, the reduction in drag you can have by getting the vessel out of the water and by being able to get considerably greater efficiency from the same electrical power pack that we would be considering for our displacement hulls and being able to get double the distance or even beyond that, maybe even triple the distance. The reaction of our skippers in experiencing the simulator was, was fascinating and it felt very real. So pushing onto a turbine is a very dynamic procedure. There's lots of variables we'll take into account. The wind state, the sea state. So we want to provide a nice safe transfer platform for the technicians. We need to keep that as stable as possible while we're pushed on. The foiling technology is very appealing because you're getting the speed and the comfort. It allows the techs more time on site on the turbines, which they always want. The pressures that get put on every element of the vessel during its working life can be very extreme. Artemis, with their extensive experience in foiling technology, know how to counteract these pressures and make sure that the foiling systems that are built into these vessels are strong enough. Visiting Queen's University Belfast to see Artemis's full drivetrain in operation in the, in the tank, to see the amount of water that was displaced by only a small percentage of the usability of the drivetrain was, was phenomenal.